Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Insights with Dylan White. Uh, it is Friday, the 1st of November. Crazy to say out loud. Um, October's over with. Halloween was amazing. Hopefully you guys aren't too much on a sugar crash. Um, like my kids are. It's crazy waking them up today, just saying. Um, as always, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for all the support. If you're loving the content, please, as always, hit the button below. Uh, I don't have to say it. I appreciate all the love. Um, thank you for giving all the comments you have and kind of driving some of the content that's soon to come. Um, yesterday, we talked about everything, Azure infrastructure, talked about how much I love Azure Arc. I think Azure Stack is going to be the coolest thing flying off the shelves over the next few years um, in all the hybrid cloud infrastructure conversations that we're having. For those of you that don't know, we are on day 15 of the 100 day journey. So excited to just keep it moving and talk to you guys um, and just what the content has to come. I'm really excited about it and get back in the weeds a little bit. But today we are gonna dive in something that has been a passion of mine for a long time. Um, and I talk about it every single day with customers and that is the Microsoft solution area for Microsoft security. So for those of you that don't know, that is what I've done for the last three and a half plus years. And before that, a lot longer, um, I get to talk about all this all day. So this could be a rambling episode. So sorry in advance, but I'm going to still try to keep the main part of that so the meat and potatoes that you guys need to pay attention to the five minutes of what is Microsoft Security Solutions area and what do we talk about customers with for that. So that being said, as always, let's get to it. All right, guys. So how do I talk about Microsoft Security in less than five minutes? Uh, we're going to have to be quick, rapid fire. Let's get into it. So first, when we talk about Microsoft Security, I break it down into definitions of extended detection response, otherwise known as XDR. Um, for me, Microsoft has a, a platform, right? There's a conversation of best of breed versus platform. So as a solutions consultant, we have to have that conversation all the time, right? So Microsoft, again, is that best of platform for customers, right? When customers are using Microsoft ecosystem. Um, it's very familiar, right? Whether it's Azure security in the cloud security space, or whether it's M365 and user security, right? Email security, endpoint security, that kind of thing. Um, so it's very familiar for administrators to, again, learn and adopt this new technology. Um, so for us as consultants, right, when we talk about this, there's really key avenues. One being the XDR talk, right? So extended detection and response, right? Whether we're talking about email security, identity security, endpoint security, or cloud application security, right? SaaS security, as it's called. There's lots of different tools. Right. The average customer has over 70 tools, right? Whether you're an organization with just 50 people or 50,000 people, the tool number just keeps growing, right? So Microsoft is saying, hey, you don't have to leave our ecosystem to have that security. We're adopting that technology, right? Over the last five years, Microsoft has made a pledge to spend $20 billion in research and product and innovation. So for me as a consultant and a leader in the space, my job is to show customers how and where Microsoft is putting that money, whether it's through purchasing different products and integrating those into their current platform, or whether it's platform innovation themselves that they're building, right? So whether it's the entry suite in the SEC tooling space, or whether it's OT security for operations, technology, infrastructure, our, my job as a consultant, our job as consultants is to help customers understand that, go ahead and do a proof of concept, right? And assess if that technology is the right fit for them, Maybe there is a niche that they need to bring in, or maybe Microsoft fits that, right? Then help them deploy and then manage that, right? That's where I fit and I do a lot of it. I do a lot of those talks, right? So again, whether it's XDR, right? And email, identity, endpoint, cloud applications, or we're diving into something like Purview, right? And doing data loss protection, data governance, unified data security platform, that kind of thing. I think we're honest in that space. Um, Microsoft has purview for that tool and whether it's Azure security, right? Think we're making a huge conversation there of cloud security. You're looking at tools like Wiz, Orca, Palo Alto, Cloud Prisma. Microsoft has Azure Defender for Cloud um, and it, its platform is a CNAP, right? Cloud Native Application Protection Application Protection Platform. Lots of letters there and acronyms. Um, Microsoft has a tool all the way to next gen SIM, right? Security information event monitoring and actual think of things like Splunk, Curator, right? Again, Cortex, lots of different tools in that space as well. 
That's the platform you're making a way into which you can monitor everything across your security ecosystem. And then also all the different products, right? It, the way Microsoft talks about Microsoft Sentinel in that way, Sentinel is that next gen SIM tool, is it's the one tool in which Microsoft meets you where you are. Right? You don't need a license for this. You don't need anything special. You just come here and we have a SIM platform for you to use if you go. Uh, so again, that's lots of letters, lots of words. There's lots of things in each one of those tools in different aspects. But again, very high level, it is all about Microsoft security for all, right? We have a tool that will fit in your tool belt, whatever it may be, right? And help you easily and start adopting and implementing these tools in your ecosystem. So again, there is Microsoft Sentinel from a SIM perspective. There's Defender for Cloud from a CNAP perspective and securing your containers and your servers, right? All of the in between. Then there is Defender for XDR, right? Endpoint email, cloud applications, all that good stuff, identity security as well. And then there's Microsoft Entra for identity security and identity applications, all that fun stuff that happens in there, as well as SSE, Secure Service Edge. And then on top of that, Microsoft has a whole data governance platform called Microsoft Purview. All these different things I get to talk about every single day, one conversation to the next. It's, it's a lot. And then I get to talk about everything else we talked about over the last 13, 14 days. So to say that there's not a dull moment in the Microsoft ecosystem and partner suite would be an understatement. So I'm super excited to begin that we're on day 15 and getting to talk about this with you guys is the absolute gift of the moment. Yesterday's history of the sugar rush, tomorrow's mystery of a, you know one of my daughter's birthday parties. I'm super excited you guys decided to spend the time with me. It means so much. Tomorrow, we're diving into a long extended session. We're gonna call it a overview, right? not even a technical demo in a project yet, but an overview of what a modern work solution is. And we're gonna dive into Microsoft Project Planner, right? Again, there's different pieces of it, but we're gonna dive into Microsoft Planner so you guys can understand how Planner is used in the ecosystem and just one of the aspects that customers get to use. So I'm super excited to join into that one tomorrow probably be a 15 minute overview see you guys then as always thanks for being here be safe